Hello there, Sugar Plum. If you have one role in this life on our limited time, it's to raise your children to be one thing, and it's to make sure that they steer clear, very far away from being bottom signals. That's right. Your sons, your daughters, our children must never grow up to be bottom signals because they will forever be etched in history. This was the bottom of Bitcoin on the FTX collapse. I want you to see exactly the material that was coming out and how I used it to know that it was time to buy the Ponzi's again or to stay long or to have faith that things will get better. I want you now to imagine making a one-hour documentary to mark the bottom of crypto. Imagine being the multi-generational and intergalactic bottom signal. Imagine getting 3 million views and giving me, your friend Somi, the buy of a lifetime, the signal of a lifetime, the ability to hold. I want you to know that this is a message. Thank you for making it easy to buy and hold our Ponzi bags again. Have a look at this. Do you see... Do you see this little bottom signal here, friends? There was a video made here. You are looking at it right now. Here it is. This video was called Crypto, the World's Greatest Scam, and it was released January 2, 2023. We're going to scroll down and have a look at this. This dude, okay, this dude has 17 million subscribers on YouTube. That's right. I'm not making this up. Have a look at this, friends. We're going to dive deep. I'm going to dive deep. I'm going to show you right now. Look at this. Look at this. 17 million subscribers. And he said, dude, dude, best video of 2023. Pack it up. Pack it up. <laughs> it was. T- we were two days into the year. I'm going to tell you something right now. Lesson for life, okay? Before you step in the ring, you better learn how to swing. The tip. Okay, do not come to the Crypto Ponzi Casino and tell us that our Crypto Ponzi's are a scam because we already knew that. Don't tell us they're going to zero. We already knew that. And don't tell us not to buy because how dare you? We're going to buy them anyway. Do you ever go to the casino, friends? Have you ever been to the little Asian gambling areas? There's always some grandma punting $55,000 hits. Imagine going to grandma Shi Shui Wang and telling her, Hey, Nona, you have a gambling problem and you better stop punting. She will backhand you and tell you to get out. She will bet $100,000 on the next hand just to spite you. And then she'll win. And everyone will look at you and tell you to get out because they enjoy this entertainment. That is exactly the Crypto Ponzi Casino, that is why you don't bet against this at the bottoms. And why Why don't you do that? Because history will punish you time and time again. So during these moments, friends, there were many bottom signals. This video literally goes for a full one hour, an entire documentary to say that crypto is the world's greatest scam. And they go through everything. NFTs, tokens, Bernie Madoff. We have absolutely everything. Vitalik's a scammer too. Everyone's a scammer. JPEGs, everything's going on. Crypto pugs, yada, yada. Tell us something we don't know. This is my signal to know that the next crypto bull market will have opportunity. It might not go as far as we think but there will be innovations and we will be able to capitalize it because this person felt compelled to make a one hour documentary and release it at the low and give us a strong libido boost. This is exactly January 2nd right here. This is exactly when he made it. And I was like, all right, there's no way this Reddit moderator cuck is going to win this one. This happens time and time again. What happened as soon as he made that video? Oh, golly gee, wow, straight line to the moon. How about that? How about that? So I'm still bullish on crypto. They don't understand how the game works. You see these people making these videos, friends. They don't understand how anything works. They think that they're smart. They're not smart. We're all players in the game, okay? No one's smart. We got peanut brains and we understand. We are just pawns on the chessboard. Everybody is, okay? Don't ever forget this. 
I am still giga bullish on crypto because why? There are bigger Ponzi's out there and they can't let them go to zero. You have 120 trillion in stonk market. That's right, 120 trillion. You have 100 to 200 billion in property. You have 10 trillion in gold. You have 40 trillion literally sitting there in cash doing nothing. You have all this money doing absolutely Poop. And to make things work, you have 100 to 200 billion sitting there in bonds. And you're going to tell me that crypto is a scam when we are worth one trillion dollar. Really? You want to sit here and tell me that? You don't know anything, okay? These people are cucks. They're in open relationships. They don't do enough push-ups. They're very lacking in every department. Their slippers are crumpled, very crumpled, mind you. And of course, they drink room temperature Water. If you're drinking room temperature water right now, you better put that right down. You better go to freezer, get some three ice cubes, okay? These people don't know anything, friends, but we have to love them because who else is going to sell the bottom? We need them there. We need them to tell us we're still winning. You need somebody to step in the ring a bit flabby and don't know how to punch and to lose. Make you feel good. <laughs> Let you know that you still got it. That's what these people do. They serve us a role. And let me tell you something, for every video out there like this, I promise you, it's another reason to be bullish. Let me tell you why. If we go back to the beginning of Bitcoin, since the start, friends, I'm going to tell you to this, give it to you straight. I'm going to give it to you straight, friends, right now. Okay, so in the early crypto cycle, we had the birth of Bitcoin, the Satoshi law. People responded to value being transferred through the blockchain, the great innovation, the next level up, okay? In the next cycle, we had Cyprus in 2013, the banking crisis. We had Bitcoin forks. We had communities formed and forged even more. Then in the next cycle, we had narratives that involved Ethereum launching ERC-20s. Anybody could launch a project instead of IPOs on the stock market. Now anybody could launch anything, including the poop. And there was a lot of poop, mind you. And then in the next cycle, what did we have? It was the most recent one. We had the invention of Uniswap. We had DeFi. We had the birth of the idea of gaming, metaverse, JPEGs, and all this other junk. But all of it was possible because Uniswap and Chainlink existed as a base layer to allow protocols to exist, to talk, and to grow. All of these narratives occurred. And guess what, friends? Every single narrative did not make any of these Reddit mods feel like it was worthy to touch crypto. So all these stories, all these narratives, all these upsides did not tempt them. So why am I still bullish? It's because there are still people out there to onboard. There are going to be new stories. There are going to be new innovations coming. 2024, 2025, somewhere in this golden Ponzi box of friendship, there will be some sort of new creation. Maybe we make things faster. Maybe we enhance a new application. Maybe Chainlink and Uniswap start doing some cool stuff and entrepreneurs can mix and match and try and make some cool new application layer and blow everybody's minds. Whatever it is, it's coming because this crypto industry keeps growing and we are so tiny. We are so tiny, friends. One trillion dollar, really? You tell me we're, we're done now? No, this Ponzi's not going to zero. These things aren't flukes. We have so much more upside to go. You see, these people who make these videos, they're clueless. They don't know poop. You know why? They think stocks are anything more than an imaginary ticker symbol. They're not anything but ticker symbols. They are just soccer teams and football teams. You just fight amongst them digitally. They don't give you any real voting rights. It's just make-believe. It's perception of value. You buy a ticker because you think it's loosely related to some sort of value. And then people say you get some revenue stream out of it. You don't get poop. Walk into McDonald's, try to change a menu, okay? You can't do anything. It's all imaginary. It's all a fugazi. It's the mind of the market because they keep printing money. You can go through every single asset class here and I can make a big fat joke out of it. But the difference is in crypto, we know everything's a Ponzi. <laughs> we know everything's a casino. But that doesn't stop us. 
That's why when we know the game, now you understand the governments, central banks, they got to keep this baby going. So either they send the world to zero or they take us to the moon with everything else. And really, when we sit down, we would like to dream about how high we go in the next crypto bull market. How high are we going to grow to? We're only a trillion now. Can we get to five? Can we get to 10 trillion? All these don't matter. All that matters is the emotions of the crowd. We're going to take this month by month, but all, none of it really matters unless you're long anyway. Because truthfully, as long as your posture straight, we're going to have the best target of all, and we're going to hear it straight from the president's mouth himself. Crypto is growing to this size. There's an estimation of somewhere between 700 billion and a trillion, 300 million billion dollars. <laughs> That's exactly right, friends. Like, subscribe, Bob, and I'll catch you in the next one.